books are all put back. Everything's clean. There was a bed back here. These bookshelves weren't here. Oh my god, I can pick up every single book. This appears to be working now. Telling me to take 10,000 steps a day. Not a bad suggestion. Thank a tree today. Includes new designs that have been part of previous stations. Previous test stations included an exercise room, but they were rarely used. Okay, so walking instead. A custom user experience. No kidding. Mine appears to be customized to torment me. I don't think I want to, like, go pulling off every single book to see if there's something behind here. Oh yeah, I'm a space vandal. Uh... Yeah, this wasn't here before. And why do they think I need so many post-it notes? And I should have read the other discs when I had the chance, because now they're completely gone. Okay, note to self. If you get a disc, read it right away. So let's do it right now. Lieutenant Yureli Enos. Final personal log. I don't know how to end this. I've spent what amounts to centuries searching for Arcanus Elbert. And in the end... He came to me. <laughs> because of course he did. This is my last log on the Dreamer, by the way. I'm drunk. I'm crying. I don't know why. It's over. It's all over. That should be a relief, right? I'm in the captain's suite, writhing this... Writhing. I'm in the captain's suite, writing this right now. He offered me his personal congratulations, and one thing led to another. It's funny how small his quarters really are, but it makes me realize all his humility, all his good-naturedness, it wasn't an act. This guy's genuinely a good man, a good leader. I want to know him better, but I'm so afraid it's too late. We've made it to New Yondella. It's gorgeous down below. You can see continent after continent here, all just waiting to be explored and discovered and loved. There will only be a handful of settlements at first, all within designated areas, meant to keep us safe until we adapt to the new climates and see how it all shakes loose. But I've covered all that before. I'm rambling. I'm terrified. God, we've been on here so long. He came for Colin Hardish, but he got me too. I don't know where he got the shuttle manifests, but given his long trail of bodies, I shouldn't have been surprised. He dropped out of the oxy oxygenation hatches, just plummeted down 20 feet, nothing but skin and bones, and there wasn't much skin to speak of. How he got away from us during the sweeps, how he survived up there, it's all being investigated. My team and I followed his trail through the oxygenation chambers. We found the missing sleep stimulator in what we believed to be a faulty sleep chamber. Clever man knew about it, and must have set everything up before, just in case he'd ever need it. Maintenance says the rigging was faulty, which explains a lot about his state. Saying he's he'd gone mad is a huge understatement. When he fell, he broke most every bone in his lower half. 
He pulled himself towards us little by little. That's going to haunt my nightmares forever. The skeleton man grinning at me as he inches forward. There was a device strapped to his chest. Some kind of IED. Old-fashioned, but at that shuttle station, he could have killed hundreds, if not thousands. He hissed something at us. I think it was Hardish's name, but I couldn't hear it. I shot him. Pure instinct, nothing else. I might have killed us all. That'll be in my dreams, too. The vest didn't go off, obviously. We cleared the station, put a Xenoplast... Xenoplast shield around the vest and got it out of there. The explosives guy told us it was the strangest stuff he'd ever seen. The chemical mixture couldn't have possibly done any more harm than smell absolutely god-awful. He'd deluded himself into thinking he had created something terrible. Arcanos didn't die from my bullet. That guy was dead a long, long time ago. It just took a little bit of help to make his body see it that way. I puked three times after the shooting. I'm hollow and exhausted. I never want to pick up a gun again. I'm leaving. The captain has my information, and I have his. Goodbye, Dreamer 3. I still don't know how any of this fits in. Continents, New Yondela, the Dreamer. Searching for Arcanus Elbert. Who are these people? I don't know. Two unread messages. Welcome to the lounge. Didn't already get that? I guess I didn't. You should plan to have a great deal of downtime during your stay here, during which you may use this area for relaxation and entertainment. It will also be used as your main communication hub. All priority messages will be directed to this terminal. Content error. From Jeff. I wasn't able to preload this terminal with video content for your beta test. If any ships are going near Gleese 832C in the next year, I'll have them drop off a few video reels for you. But you should have plenty of books to keep you busy in the meantime. Have a good year. Let's do a check. I wonder if there's going to be anything on the board. Nope. Anything behind? Nope. Actually, hold on. I want to check one thing again. I see, like, wires or something running down. I wonder if I crouch if, like, it leads to a button or something. I don't think it does. Nah, it doesn't lead to anything. Well, see if we can load up the music this time. Sounds good. What about video? <laughs> I 
No video files. Let me see if the food has magically appeared. Yeah, everything's kind of back to normal, I guess. Let's do a check. Ooh, it opens... <laughs> it opens slightly when it goes to check the door. Interesting. Interesting. I wonder if I can do something with that. I didn't actually see the results of the test. Let's check the message, though. Updated bottle protocol. Thanks for your feedback. Based on your comments, future stations will not use glass bottles given their fragility. Yes, no kidding. God, <laughs> don't use glass. For the remainder of your stay, see the updated bottle protocol below. Do not throw full or empty bottles. Carefully place used bottles in the waste chute. Do not place broken bottle pieces in the waste chute. Do not attempt to remove broken pieces. They will be removed after your stay. Wait, I'm sorry, you're saying if I break a bottle, then I should leave them for like a year until my stay is done? Uh, yeah, that doesn't seem safe. Alright, give me my food. I wonder if there's drugs in the food. I'm guessing these can break too. No? Are they ceramic? I guess so. Or plastic or something. Okay, it's fine. Um, let's dispose of it. What what goes in here? It looks like it says no broken bottles. Does that mean whole bottles are okay? I guess. I don't really want to throw this away. I feel like it might be useful. Nah, it probably won't be. Oh! <sighs> I'm sorry, it's just the way my body was made. I'm incapable of doing anything gently. Now, should this be open or closed? I suppose closed, because, I mean, there's no plants. Yes, I know, I can't go in. Be quiet. Alright, let's run it again. I want to, like... I want to, like, throw something through there. Maybe I could jam it. I don't, I don't think a bottle of cleaning flu fluid is exactly what's supposed to go in there to jam the door, but... Nonetheless, I'm, I'm curious. And, uh, do I have something stronger I could use? What would be good for jamming? Hey, wait a minute. Holy shit, a lot of time has passed. Also, this tree looks completely dead. These have grown a bit. Um... Alright, hold on, that can wait. Or can it? No, let's deal with it right now. Unread message. Wait. 
think I selected the option for unread message, but it seems to just be doing the test anyway. just gone. What happened to it? Whoa! in the hell is that? Out the kitchen window, I did see I did see like a red pixel before, but now there's a bunch of them. What the hell are they? Info doc command equals help doc command. Restart, defrag, format, crossed out. Does that mean they don't work? HCF dot command never again. Uh oh. Reboot dot command. Directory dot command. Oh, directory should show you. Hey, wait a minute. What is that down there? Is that the control room? I've never been there. That that's a lounge. This goes towards the lounge. And I've never seen a lower floor in the lounge. Anyway, yeah, a directory should show you all the files that are in the current directory. <laughs> and I'm scared to try HCF. It says never again. Come on. Okay, I need to write these down right now. Um, yeah, I'm gonna write down every single one and I'll be right back. Alright, there we go, got them all down. Oh, look at that. You can even see scratch marks on the ground. That's where this, uh... That's where this thing was dragged over here. Yeah. More stickies. Also boring. Hmm? Calming images. 
Images for Marshall based on Q7, the event, files not found. Marbles, purple haze, blah blah blah. Can I type? Nope. Looks like the sink is stained with where the water hits. Like it hasn't been cleaned in a long time. More toothbrushes. I guess just more time. Throwing away my old toothbrushes or something. Oh, that towel is nasty. I'm stockpiling the food. Yeah, these lockers don't belong here. They're, that's a door. Why are these lockers blocking the door? Well, this thing's broken too. Mental stability test, test mental stability, stability test, mental test. You must retake the profile test so that your mental state can be reevaluated. Please answer honestly. It says, keep in mind there are no answers. Before it said, there's no wrong answers. Now it just says, there's no answers. What do you fear most? Falling, being alone, or being murky? What? Being murky? The color of the horse. Square. Shape. The peak. How would you gallop the color of the ocean? Blank. The horse from question two was... Better. You are in a horse with two doors, one to the left and one at the end of the hall. Both doors are murky. You see a key on the floor in front of you. Do you pick it up? Mud. Cataclysmic event. In the... When it rains, blank. Airlock. Worse. Jeff, 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 Jeff. That's the name of the person that was originally supposed to pick me up. He's the system administrator, right? Alright, let's try the administrator pen terminal. So I've got a bunch of commands. Ah, let me back up. There we go. Okay. So, let's see, he said, the book said info.command equals help.command. So let's try info.command. Should do the same thing, right? Mm hmm. And then these were crossed out. Um, it said restart.command. That was crossed out for some reason. Yes, yeah, so that means it doesn't work. Same with defrag.command. Yep. 
and format dot command. So the H HCF dot command never again. So let's not do that one. The other ones were reboot and directory. Mm-hmm. Oh, there's the year. 2054. 1,583 files. 25 directories. Could not load all sectors. Seems like there's data corruption. I'm not sure if any of this actually helps me. Do you think the volume serial number is perhaps a code to something? I don't see why it would be. But I'm going to write it down anyway. So A422-5B3F. Okay, let's try reboot dot command. Yes. Still seems to be broken. Try the directory again, see if it's any different. Nope. I could try HCF. What what could that stand for? HCF. I have no idea. Oh, this is the one I found before. It's appeared again. Cool. And there's another one. Alright, let's read them right now before they disappear. Water slash sewage engineer block DA5. Personal log. We encountered another ship today. It was surreal. The people on board claim their 20 generations are descendants, and the mathematicians and genealogy specialists on board agree. 20 generations, and they far outstripped us in terms of technology and what they're capable of. I guess the scientists knew this was a theoretical possibility. The odds of the Dreamer 3 making it to New Yondel before newer technologies created faster ships were slim, but the head honchos were clearly taken by surprise at its appearance. They called it Horzen. I have no idea if that's the ship's handle or its model name, if they even have models for these sorts of things. I didn't get to talk to its crew. I guess us space plumbers don't rank, but it, has, it was as exciting as anything that's ever happened on board, and I'd be lying if I didn't say I was there at the bar watching on the big wall screen with everyone else in Block DA5. They woke all of us up for a quick news hit on it, too. Even let us have an extra whole eight hours of monkeying around and a few beers. No charge. Five years ago? To us colonists, anyway. A millennium and a half to the rest of you sorry saps. Three beer chits would have made me laugh. Now it's like winning the lottery. I traded one of them off for an extra two lots of real estate on New Yondel. Not a bad trade, but one more beer sure would have tasted good. 
A few of the colonists wanted to go with the Horzen, but that was a no-go. Their ship was small and already brimming with folks. No room, but they promised they could s they could send on a ship with supplies and room for plenty to come on board if they want. There's going to be a lottery of sorts. The more you've worked, the more chances you've got to make it off. Gonna have to keep us all out of skeleton crew for that day, or otherwise they'd have some riots on their hands of folks stampeding for the ship. I reckon I should have a better than average chance of making it on there if I wanted to. But honestly, I'm liking life here and I want that piece of property on New Yondale something fierce. I'll have the biggest swimming pool you ever saw, and an automated bartender to boot. There's... is that Tana? I think that's Tana. There's Tana to think about too. She's still dead set on opening that aquarium, and she's been putting in as much hours as the regulations will give her down in the gene labs. She's been working hand-in-hand -hand with them folks in the communications department, making sure everything is on, on the planet is optimal for marine life. They said today the bioformation labs confirmed rainbow trout as big as my arm in the lakes on New Yandel. Can you believe that? Going out to my backyard with real grass under my feet, setting out in my hovo, and catching real fish, bred and wild, just like it was nothing. All this work we've been doing, Every minute we'd been awake to every year we'd, we'd been asleep. It's all been for that. Or a hundred thousand other dreams. I just can't imagine throwing all that away and jumping on board the Horizon for some instant gratification. There's going to be folks that jump, sure. But me? I can taste that trout already. I wish I read this before reading the other one, because the other one mentioned a lot of this stuff. New Yondel, the Horizon. Hmm. I wish I had the other one right here to read it, because I want to, like, cross-reference the stuff together and, you know, put it all together, but I can't. So some sort of... What was it? Faster than light travel? Yeah, the odds of the Dreamer 3 making it to New, to New Yondel before newer technologies created faster ships were slim. So the Dreamer 3 is a ship. But again, how does this relate to me? It's got to be related. There's no way that this is completely pointless. Veterinarian assistant, block DC2. Private log. They took them in the middle of a mass sleep shift. Crafty. Our precious captain no doubt came up with that one. I'm so sick of his smiling face plastered all over every screen. I'm so sick of all of this. They took them to avoid riots. And told us in small, manageable numbers. Like we're children who need our hands held. They've got a point, though. No doubt some of the loonies would have tried to surge at the docking station. I want it out just as bad as everyone else, but there will be more chances. It's the worst kept secret on the ship, that we're actively communicating with whoever these people are. <sighs> Whatever. I want off now. We know faster travel's possible now, so why are we even still on this thing? Dinner with Daro today? I think he's going to ask to live together when we land. Ugh, no. I can't hardly stand to look at him anymore. He's so... Ernest. He's like a balding little puppy, right underfoot. The thought of having to wake up next to him for the rest of my life makes me gag a little. Okay, it makes me gag a lot. Still, I think I can bleed him just a little more. He gave me one of his beer chits during the Horizon celebration. Just gave it to me. Like it was jewelry. Yeah. When he left for his sleep shift, I sold it to the landing supplier. Got a small fortune out of it, too. Let's just say my poolside wet bar will now be a thing of beauty. Security's been bumped up. Like they aren't hose like they aren't nosing around all the time anyways. One of them asked me point blank if I'd been supplying to that Archie guy that's been running loose. 
Do I look that stupid? Every pill is monitored here, and besides, you want to pick me up on this heap? There are easier and more legit ways to get it. Makes me wonder if No-Nose was involved. I wouldn't put it past this stupid idiot. Mom called too. She's living in BA now with an EVA specialist. I wonder what con she used to sucker him in. So the story is starting to come together as far as what's happening on the discs, like... All of the discs are talking about a story that's all interrelated. New Yondel, the Dreamer, Archie. So it's clarifying that storyline, but I still don't see how it's related to me. It has to be. Any videos? Nope. Let's do a system check. I never know where to look. Like, I want to see if something interesting is happening in the world, but I also want to see if there's something interesting happening on the terminal. Uh, looks like everything's good. Okay. They're so bouncy. Boing. Why are the books wobbling? Like, they're wobbling all over the place. Is it a physics glitch, or does that mean something? That's not normal. The door's malfunctioning. Books in the kitchen? Been playing with the knife. Why do I have a serrated knife? There's no food to cut. This thing's all lopsided. Is anything wrong with the kitchen? Uh, yeah. Distribute meal. Can I even do anything? I can't.
Oh. I can go in here now. Food storage. There's almost no food here. That means that either I've grossly misused my food, or my year is almost up. And I think this might lead back around to behind the lockers in my room. Oh wait, no, that goes down. Hmm. I guess let's see if I can have some food first. Okay, let me see if I can do this without breaking the bottle this time. Okay. Emergency exit. Oh, that's where this stuff goes. Are these empty? Oh, I'm assuming so. Glass. Not worth reading. Control room? Maybe that's what I saw... Yeah, this is what I saw from up above. From, uh, from up there. In the greenhouse. This music is starting to get creepy. More commands. Amber OS, green OS, and blue OS. Hmm? I better write those down. Different colored OS's? What does that mean? Amber OS. Green and blue. Full station reboot. Resident view. Anything wrong with the station? Uh, let's do a full station system check.
computer system is completely ruined. Yeah, that's what I thought. Please reboot the mainframe. Alright, sounds good. But before that, let's do resident view. Override Marshall's view. Wait, what? Does that mean the view I'm looking at is a lie? Or is that intended? Like, like where, where's my actual ship? Where's the ship? Or the station, or whatever it is. Where's it actually? I mean, obviously the fact that I can just change it at will means that most, if not all of them, are not actual reality. But is my character supposed to know that? And it's just like a psychological thing? You know, show the person on the station something pleasant so that they don't go crazy? Or is it... Or am I not supposed to know that you can actually change it? I'm probably supposed to know. And there's something down there. So, this is... I'm actually on a planet, aren't I? Because there's a building down there. Yeah. Alright, before I do a full reboot... Let me try these commands. So let's try... Amber OS. Oh, <laughs> okay, so it just changes the colors of the text. Gotcha. Uh, let's go with the blue. Alright, reboot time. All non-essential functions will be offline during the reboot. Unexpected results may occur. Only reboot if absolutely necessary. Yeah, let's do it. Everything good? I guess not because the, my viewing panels still haven't come back. Emergency exit is open. I can go down to the surface. Can I go up? Nope.
somehow the bottles found their way down here. And what is that red thing? I'm scared to go near it. Airlock. Before I go, I need to go see what that red thing is. I think it's just, like, malfunctioning pixels on the screen. On the panels that make up my view. It's almost like this place has not been maintained in a very long time. How long have I actually been here? And this is an airlock, so, like, I'm in some sort of a cube. Code. Oh god. <laughs> it's a four-digit code and apparently I've tried pretty much all of them. just says nope. Well, shall I try the next one? 0451. So, 0452. was the very last one, the very next one. I don't even have, like, a space suit or anything. Am I going to pull this and just get sucked out into space? <laughs> I wonder, if I waited, 
Would something have actually happened? I wonder if I actually had a choice in the matter. Or is that always my fate? In fact, I'm almost inclined to th think, did I... No, this doesn't seem like the sort of game that would have fail states. That wasn't a fail state, was it? Because I could resume from checkpoint. Also, interestingly enough, there is a administrator terminal from the main menu, which is kind of strange. Like, what would you type here? Oh, that's cool. Can change the color of the main menu. Wait a minute. That's the actual directory, isn't it? Yeah, look, it's the Steam directory. Resource.assets, that's the Unity files. Player config file. <laughs> that's an actual directory of the game. Um, HCF, the thing that said never again. Halt and ca oh, halt and catch fire. Uh, no, no thanks. That's a, that's a really really old thing. I don't remember what that, like, I remember like reading the Wikipedia article for that or something a long time ago, describing where it came from and what it's supposed to do. I don't remember. Is it just like an emergency stop? I'm not sure. Anyway. Um, what other commands could I do? What about, like, restart? Would that restart the game? Reboot? If I run the defrag command, does it defrag my computer? Resume from checkpoint? Alright, let me try halt and catch fire, I'm just curious. Is it just like an infinite loop thing? Maxes out the CPU and the memory? Okay, so I, th I think it's just a fun little thing. It doesn't really affect anything as far as I can tell. Just makes it restart. Well, I just all tabbed out for a minute just to check whether there are any different endings that I missed, and it turns out there are not. So that is the only ending. So that is... that is your fate. To die at the hands of insanity right before your rescue. I guess in the end it's kind of a tragedy, isn't it? Given that the food seemed to be almost at its end, and I think they would only come to pick you up after your year is out, I guess it was like... the very... I guess it was one year after you first came here. Pretty much to the day. I'm assuming. Your stint was up, and you flushed yourself out in airlock. Whoopsie! Yeah, there's... There's what happens to uh, human beings when you're completely alone for a year. It's... not pretty. Maybe some people could handle it, but... I would bet most, probably me included as well, could not. So just to give a quick recap, I really enjoyed this game. And I'm very happy that I went, in went into it pretty much completely blind, not knowing any damn thing about it other than you're some person on a space station and weird stuff trying to figure out what's going on. <laughs> that's that's really all I knew about it, and I'm glad I went in like that, because it was very mysterious. You know, what's my purpose here? Why is there a greenhouse? Why am I growing plants? Where am I? How come there's nobody else here? 
and the mystery just spiraled out from that. The way everything kept kind of rearranging itself around me when I wasn't looking. Another day would pass and I didn't even know I... Like, I never even went to sleep. And then everything's just changed. It's almost like there was another me. Like some sort of split personality, almost. The other me was doing stuff when I wasn't looking. Rearranging books. And just throwing everything about. It was just... It was really mysterious and really fascinating. I love the fact that I had no idea what was going on and I just had to poke and prod around the computers and around the environment to try to make sense of it. It was really satisfying. And... Yeah, that's pretty much all I can think of to say about it. I wish I could say more, because I really did enjoy it. But that's pretty much it. It's just, it's an interesting location. And I just had a lot of fun just exploring around and trying to figure out what was happening. I don't feel like I have a super firm grasp on what actually happened. But I think I kind of get the basics. You were part of some sort of an experiment, apparently a, a one-time experiment. Given that they said they're shelving the project. The Verde Project, or whatever they call it. And you're in this test cube, meant to live a year, and I... I guess... I, I mean, what are you testing? Are they are they testing to see whether human beings can live alone for a year without going crazy? Because if that's what they were testing, then I have some pretty damn good evidence to suggest that no, they can't. Maybe the greenhouse was just to produce oxygen for me? Just to keep me alive? Not quite sure. But yeah, so part of some sort of an experiment. And it didn't end very well. And it wasn't very well thought out. It was a miserable existence, drinking liquid food for a whole year. God, can you imagine that? No solid food for a year? That'd be horrible. So yeah, this was really lovely. And it was actually really surprising, too. I actually want to talk about something that I don't normally talk about. So typically I don't mention... For the most part, I don't really mention things like price or value of games. You know, I just say if you want to grab it, here are some links and, you know, you can go check the price and see whether you think it's worth it. But I just want to mention that before I came into this game, I was a little bit hesitant because of basically two reasons. One is that it got kind of mixed reviews, at least on Steam. It's got like a 60-something percent, I think, and it's listed as mixed. And it's also because... Some people had said that the game was really, really short. I think some people even said about a half hour was how long the game was. So I was thinking, okay, like, ten bucks, that's the full price, ten bucks for a kind of mixed reception game, and maybe it's only a half hour long. I was, I was kind of I was kind of on the fence. I wasn't sure whether to dive in. But after playing it, this makes me realize that I shouldn't really listen to people when they talk about value or length of games. Especially in kind of less traditional games that don't involve traditional challenge. Because it seems like people often just miss the point. Like, they just run to the end and it's like, Where's the monsters? Where's the guns? This, this is only 30 minutes, man. I didn't get enough value for my money. This seems to be an actual thing. So, this playing this game has taught me that I should listen to people, especially kind of like general reviewers on Steam. I should listen to them less. Because this game is really damn good and it certainly was not a half hour long. It was about two hours long for me. And if it took you a half hour to play through it, then I would say you didn't engage with the game at all. So, yeah, I'm actually going to listen to listen to people less and maybe take some more risks in the kind of games that I play. Especially for less traditional games. You know, games like this more in the kind of... somewhat in the gone home kind of category, roughly. Really just in the sense that it's mostly about exploring and kind of figuring out your environment, rather than any sort of traditional puzzle solving or combat or anything of the sort. And those sorts of games in particular seem to be pretty divisive. So yeah, I think I learned something today. Don't listen to Steam reviews. So, once again, this has been Verde Station. I hope you enjoyed watching me play through it, and thank you for watching. <laughs>